Okay. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a swatching video for you guys. Laneige came out with their new lip bars and I'm super stoked. I really like their original lip bars, so I had to, you know, pick up all of the shades, which are here. I'm gonna give you guys a little info, because you know me, I like my notes. So to give you guys a little bit of an intro before I actually hop into the swatching bit of the video, I picked up all 20 of the shades. The first 14 of the shades are going to be their cream version of the layering lip bars and then the last six are going to be the matte version of the layering lip bars. These retail for about $20 depending on where you pick them up. I got mine from YesStyle so I will leave a coupon code down below if you guys want to use that as well as a link down below if you want to check that out. These have moisture wrap technology which is supposed to obviously keep your lips moisturized through the day and there are six gradating shades in each of the bars. So unlike the original ones which had two tones, <laughs> hence the name two tone lip bars, these ones have six. So they're meant to give you like a fuller look, a like volume up type of effect. So we're gonna see how that goes. <laughs> wow, I just like, <laughs> I just like the way this looks, is that weird? I like don't want to open up the boxes or anything I'm like this is so pretty <laughs> so basically this video is going to just share with you guys what the actual lip products look like on my lips on my skin tone I think right now I'm a bit more tan so I'm probably like an NC 30 if I were to guess I could tell you my NARS foundation shade hold on I'm back <laughs> the foundation I'm actually wearing on my skin right now is in the shade M1 Punjab, Punjab, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. Um, this is the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. So that's what I have on my skin right now if you're curious. So yeah, that's my foundation shade. <laughs> Anyways, we're off to the start, aren't we? For these products, so we know that uniformly they're kind of the same across the board as far as application goes, I'm gonna be one swiping them. So I'm not going to be going over them back and forth. I just kind of want to see how they apply with one coat of lip product how these shades kind of translate from the bar to my lips. And yeah, because the whole concept behind these is a one swipe gradient lip look. So I'm gonna pretty much stick to that. Other than that, that's pretty much it as far as the information Laneige has about these products. Essentially the selling point is that it has like those six gradiating shades to each of the bars. So yeah, let's get to swatching, shall we? Yay! Okay. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead Go and catch me, baby
Alrighty guys, so I hope you enjoyed all of those swatches. I just wanted to really quickly like sum up my thoughts after swatching all of those back to back. Even though I said this was pretty much gonna be a swatching video, I'm gonna throw my little thoughts into this at the end. I don't know if it's just me, so you guys will have to leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know if you agree or disagree. I felt like a lot of these shades looked very similar on the lips. So even though I was going back to back with them, some of them I couldn't even really differentiate that much the difference between the shades. There are 20 shades in this collection, like I said, 14 for the cream, 6 for the matte. And I really felt like, especially for the creams, not so much the mattes, there could have been a lot less shades since they look so similar. Another thing for me is that a lot of the light colors in some of these just did not look good on my skin tone. For example, this one which is the Milk Blurring number 2. The white and the light colors don't look good on my skin tone. They look a bit chalky. So you'll see as I'm swatching them, the lighter shades on some of them definitely look chalky on my lips. And obviously that can be fixed by blending them out a little bit more. I was just once wiping it because I wanted to show you guys what they looked like. But yeah, some of them I just wasn't a big fan of. I don't feel like these are like universally flattering type of lip colors. Other than that, I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on these new Laneige layering lip bars. If you think that they're unique or innovative, if you're excited about particular shades, or honestly any collection you guys want me to check out, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm always on the hunt to check out new collections. And as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy, and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video.